what do you mean by doubling the income of farmers? We are from uh, West Bengal. Yes, sir. We do have national song and national anthem. Yes. Okay. Sir. What is the difference between the two? And what are the major industry which is in West Bengal? Do you think government should start taxing the agriculture income? What are the issues that revolve around marital rape in India? May I come in, sir? Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Please be seated. Thank you, sir. Please give a brief introduction about yourself. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, as mentioned in my DAF, my name is Bharatati Datta. I was born and brought up in Ashoknagar of North 24 Pragna district of West Bengal. I have done my schooling from Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalay, North 24 Pragna district itself. Thereafter, I have done my graduation in the subject of agricultural science from Vishwabharati University. Thereafter, I have done my masters in the subject of seed science and technology from Orisha University of Agriculture and Technology, Bhubaneswar, Orisha. Sir, after my mains, uh, fortunately, I got selected as West Bengal Food Safety Officer. However, I have taken extraordinary leave without pay for this interview preparation. Wonderful, wonderful. Bratati is a very unique name. What does it mean? Yes, sir. Sir, in Bengali, the term Bratati used to denote the climbers and creepers, the herbaceous plants. Okay, so it's the name of a plant. Uh, sir, it's a group of plants. Group of plants. Yes, okay, sir. Wonderful. You see, you have uh, studied agriculture both at, at the graduation level and post-graduation level. You must have uh, acquired a lot of expertise in agriculture. In the year 2016, Government of India decided to double the income of farmers. Yes, sir. Isn't it? But unfortunately, it could not be achieved. My first question is, what do you mean by doubling the income of farmers? Yes, sir. Sir, as mentioned in Ashok Dalvai committee, uh, government proposes proposed doubling of farmers income by 2020, uh, 2020, 2022, uh, as I can remember as of now. Uh, it means that uh, it, it, it was brought by the government so that farmers income can be doubled. The productivity of the land and productive crop productivity can be enhanced production level and yield can be enhanced uh, simultaneously, sir. What happened? What went wrong? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, unfortunately, COVID pandemic was one major reason due to which we could not uh, achieve the uh, success uh, as we ha we supposed to achieve. Uh, however, sir, I think government is doing, at least trying to doing their best uh, to enhance the uh, farmer's income. And sir, I am hopeful that uh, if not in the in this time, but in the near future, we will be able to achieve, sir. You spoke about uh, increasing the crop productivity. Could you suggest some measures, one or two measures, whereby the crop productivity can be increased? Yes, sir. Sir, I think that the uh, there is a need to uh, diversification the current model of agriculture. For diversification, we can follow integrated farming system. This can be one uh, probable option. Thereafter, sir, uh, I think we should follow the climate smart agriculture also, so that we can address the climate uh, crisis in uh, in agriculture at this moment of time. Uh, sir, thereafter, uh, we can shift towards uh, modern method. Uh, for example, sir, now farmers are, uh, in most of the part, farmers are uh, cultivating rice in the traditional way, uh, direct seeded rice method. Uh, in that, we can introduce okay, SRI I method. I got your point. Now, you spoke about the modern methods, introduction of modern, modern methods. Have you studied the agricultural model of Israel? Sir, uh, as of my limited knowledge, uh, Israel being a country with most of the land covered under the desert areas, they have invested uh, enormously to uh, to enhance their irrigation model. So they have not only become self-sufficient, but they have also started exporting. So what lessons could we take from the Israel model so that our agriculture productivity also increases? Sir, I think we should learn the way of water use efficiency they have adopted in their irrigation system. Uh, we can follow the drip irrigation model that has been developed by Israel 
other than this sprinkler method and this what things. do you mean by greenhouse uh, equipments sorry sir greenhouse equipments uh, sir uh, as of my knowledge greenhouse uh, uh, greenhouse equipments as these are transparent polythene sheets uh, uh, a house like structure which is which is prepared for the off season cultivation of the crops so that we uh, so that in this method actually we allow the sunlight to uh, enter and okay. so thank that you very much thank, thank you. you sir bratati yes sir huh? so you are now west bengal food safety officer yes sir i have joined yeah you have joined yes sir okay that's very good and you have also been group leader yes sir what are the traits of a group leader yes sir so the, uh, there are many traits but to uh, mention some few i will put first the leadership skill thereafter time management skills thereafter sir uh, communication skills uh, thereafter sir engaging with everybody and uh, also taking uh, also being involved in the group activities uh, so that the work can be uh, distributed and uh, work can be done by me along with them uh, means participatory nature sir this uh, can be the uh, some major traits of a group leader sir okay uh, but at the uh, also we do have many traits of a good administrator okay so you have just highlighted some of the traits of being a good leader what are the differences between a good traits of a good leader and a good administrator is there any difference sir i think as administration is a very broad concepts it needs to communicate with the people also along with the team members so i think uh, administration skills also involve being empathetic being uh, compassionate towards the people uh, other than this i think sir more or less the group leader traits as i have mentioned comes also under uh, administration but administration also includes these means uh, empathetic compassionate honesty integrity these things also comes uh, as an administrative traits sir do you share these traits sir i think that i share you share yes sir okay you also see innovative videos yes huh? sir in youtube and other things now uh, if we talk about innovations in the field of administration what can what type of innovations we can have yes sir uh, sir i would like to mention one news from today's newspaper times of india only that i have found that ai technology is being used by delhi police only and recently uh, they have used ai technology for the reconstruction of a face of a dead body uh, to uh, to make him uh, in in a life position and in this way through the help of the ai technology delhi police has uh, ab was able to identify the uh i think uh, the criminals so i think ai technology is being used uh, as a new innovative model uh, in the field of administration and in the field of police so you have done uh, agriculture that is from orissa agriculture and technology yes sir huh? uh, from bhubaneswar yes sir and you have just referred to ai technology as a food safety officer you will have the opportunity to use ai technology sir uh, sir uh, i think that uh, as sir i have just joined and i have done the field training as of now sir only thereafter i have taken the extraordinary leave uh, sir as per my limited experiences i think that the collection of the data that i have uh, seen during my field training that could be taken in a better manner using ai technology uh, in this way we can save our time and also in the uh if we will maintain the record uh, then we can uh, means in uh, in future also uh, we can have a detailed record uh, using ai technology but sir i think i need to go into the detail of the uh, office works then only i can better utilize my knowledge or or thing okay you are from uh, west bengal yes sir uh we do have national song and national anthem yes, okay sir. what is the difference between the two Uh, sorry sir i i think i don't have any sufficient information to answer this question but uh, if you allow me i can take a guess sir uh, certainly yes sir 
sir uh, one would be the differences regarding the author like uh, our national anthem janagano mano is written by ravindranath tagore and national song uh, bande mataram was written by bankim chatterjee and uh, as of now usually national anthem is being sung after uh, at the end of the program or any initiatives however national song uh, there is as of my knowledge there is no uh, mandatorily need to sing it after uh, watching any film or after after participating any in any program moreover sir uh, if i'm not wrong national anthem must be sung within a particular time limit it's more than i think it's 52 seconds and around uh, around 52 only however as of my knowledge there is no time limitations to song uh, to sing the national song vande matram sir i know only okay, this thank you thank you thank you sir, sir. yes batati yes sir you are from west bengal have you heard rar plane sir i am familiar with the term but i i think it's in the western part of west bengal but i i don't have any detailed knowledge about this sir okay okay any idea about the khadar plains uh, khadar yes sir what is it uh, yes sir sir khadar and bhangar uh, these comes under the uh, these are the parts of the uh, l- uh, yes sir land areas only like sir we have um, these are soils yes sir soil alluvial soils yes sir so what is the major difference between the khadar soil and the uh, bangar soil yes sir sir uh, as as far as i can recall at this moment of time one is a new alluvium and another is old alluvium uh, um, and uh, sir at this moment of okay, i can recall okay. this thing. have you heard beel region sorry sir beel sorry sir i am not familiar with this term okay okay khadar plain is the newer alluvium yes, and sir. the bangar is the older, older alluvium yes sir rar is the region in uh, west bengal this lies uh, within the west bengal and it is part of the khadar plain okay All sir right. thank you sir uh, have you heard this chai bagan time zone yes sir what is it yes sir uh, s- uh, sir uh, for the people who lives in the northern portion north eastern portion uh, uh, as sun rises uh, earlier in that area uh, so they face difficulties in uh, accommodating their uh, work schedule with the ist that is indian standard time zone so they had a demand that if they could have a different time zones so that they can schedule their works as per uh, that so the, that was a long standing debate uh, regarding the i regarding that okay, sir okay okay brother at the time of independence yes sir west bengal was doing very great in the industrial output of our country but if you will see after that our industrial de- output have continuously declined what could be the major reason for that yes sir sir first major reason is the partition because after partition the jute growing areas got shifted to the bangladesh regions and we uh, the west bengal portion go- only uh, only had the industry industries so that is the one major reasons so second reason is the uh, instability due to political violences and naxalisms and uh, all these all these related issues third is the uh, social policies of the then government uh, and fourth is the uh, lack of ease of doing business indicators uh, and uh, there is a lack of persuasion among the and, and a misconception also among the business uh, industrialist regarding the west bengal ease of doing business however sir i would also like to mention that west bengal government is doing at least trying to do uh, do to do best uh, because now m- many industrial co- corridors are being developed for example raghunathpur dankuni holdia region industrial corridor uh, many industrial townships are being developed for example jongolmohol sundori karmonogori in the region of purulia raghunathpur only so i think sir the issues are now uh, getting addressed okay okay great and what are the major industry which is in west bengal yes sir uh, sir there are cement industry steel industry leather industry uh, what about jute industry yes sir uh, jute jute industry and tea industry is also there sir however sir regarding the jute industry one major problem is that uh, we are growing uh, the jute but sir uh, the post harvest processing of the jute technologies are uh, facing some major issues uh, as of my knowledge sir 
ओके ओके ऑल आई थैंक यू सर प्रताती डिड आई प्रोनाउंस योर नेम करेक्टली यस मैम गुड सो आर यू अवेयर ऑफ व्हाट इज फिजिकल पॉलिसी यस मैम मैम गवर्नमेंट यूज टू ब्रिंग द फिजिकल पॉलिसी इन दिस पॉलिसी रेवेन्यू पार्ट मीन्स वट विल बी द सोर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू रेवेन्यू सोर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वेयर गवर्नमेंट नीड्स टू बी नीड्स टू हैव देयर एक्सपेंडिचर दिस थिंग्स आर मैंशन इन द फिजिकल पॉलिसी एंड थ्रू दिस पॉलिसी ऑल्सो गवर्नमेंट ट्राई टू मेंटेन द मनी सप्लाई इन दी मार्केट दिस थिंग्स आर मैम ओके ओके so uh, you said that through fiscal policy it is also a study of where are the revenue resources of the government uh, is there any revenue resource that comes to the government via agriculture ma'am uh, i think agricultural income is not being taxed as this moment of time uh, so as of my knowledge uh, i think it uh, there is no mandatory requirement uh, but ma'am i need to check on it ma'am okay so uh, let's assume that you are correct and agriculture income is not taxed uh, i guess that's also correct so uh, in your opinion do you think government should start taxing the agriculture income or should it just be as it is going uh, ma'am uh, ma'am if agricultural uh, agricultural income will be taxed then it will definitely be a major source of revenue of the government but having said that ma'am as uh indian uh, there are more than 80% of the farmers of uh, india uh, comes from the small and marginal background so if we will tax the agricultural income then it will create another burden on the farmer themselves so i think uh, i i think sir i think ma'am there will there we can have some alternate arrangement for example we can uh, develop certain category uh, so that uh, uh, so that through that through this category we can categorize farmers means whoever will be the big and uh, medium farmers we can tax them and uh, we can uh, leave behind small and marginal farmers so that their burden cannot be get increased also ma'am these thing i think so you are for agriculture tax but with slabs is that correct yes ma'am okay and uh, uh, you uh, you know that the budget is around the corner so uh, for agriculture what expectations do you have from the interim budget or what do you think should be the announcements in the interim budgets or do you foresee some yes ma'am ma'am first will be the msps i think uh, uh, the crops now covered by the msp should be diversif- diversified i think the uh, amount of msp that government is being provided uh, as of now should be increased in climate for smart, uh, climate smart crops for example uh, pulses and millets uh, should uh, should have increased amount and second will be the uh, government is already running a program regarding fpo promotion that is farmer producer organization i think there should also uh, be an increase in the allocation of the budget uh, so that in the long run we can address the issues of land fragmentation and all such things and third third thing is ma'am uh, i will be happy if government will also uh, increase budget allocation for the climate resilient agriculture portion uh, and uh, also can uh, incorporate um, uh, for example integrated farming system and uh, uh, allied allied products allied activities of agriculture from um, these uh, things okay so prathati uh, when we are talking about agriculture it's often said that irrigation is one of the concern in agriculture sector of india is that true ma'am uh, to some extent it is true uh, because now we are seeing that uh, water crisis is being a major issue and uh, already uh, if i'm not wrong nasa's groundwater report has al- already said that we are losing uh around 0.3 meter water uh, water uh, ground water table level every year uh, so i think it's uh, mm it is true and we should develop uh, certain strategies to improve water use efficiency so going by the information that you shared then why should india or why does india promote and exports crop like sugar which are uh, which need high amount of water for cultivation do you think it's a good strategy Uh, ma'am i think our export bus- uh, basket needs to be diversified as we have mentioned the virtual export of water 
uh, is really a major issues as of now because uh, sugarcane needs around 2000 liters of water for one to produce one kg of sugarcane and also rice also needs around so i think ma'am our export basket needs to be diversified diversified with less water intensive crops oh thank you thank you ma'am uh, Pratati, uh, you have studied agricultural science. Uh, can you tell us what is the difference between pleiotropy and polygeny? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, pleiotropy, as, as far as I can recall, uh, sir, one gene can affect multiple, uh, multiple interaction, pleiotropy. And polygene means many genes are contributing towards uh, a, a particular inherited characteristics. Great. Uh, can you also uh, give me one example of each? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, for example, polygenic characteristics uh, is in regarding the coat colors hmm. of animals. And pleiotropy, uh, I think, sir, it's sickle cell anemia uh, things. Uh, means okay. Yes, sir. sir. Uh, you have studied agriculture. Uh, there is a unique system of agriculture in which farming is done below sea level. Do you know about it? Uh, Sir, I think it's uh, about low-level farming systems, like low-land cultivations. Uh, in which part of India this uh, is practiced? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware about it. Okay. Uh, recently, some of the officials of the Enforcement Directorate uh, were attacked by a mob in the state of West Bengal. Uh, do you know about this case? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, unfortunately, this incident has happened in my district only, hmm. in Sandeshkali region, okay. uh, around 15 days ago. Okay. Yes, sir. And what was the issue? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, there was one person and, uh, named uh, Shah Jahan who was allegedly involved in the ration scam case of West Bengal. So, ED officials went into uh, went for a search and seizure of operation in Sandeshkali region. Unfortunately, due to some miscommunication, uh, some local peoples uh, they attacked uh, ED officials. Sir. Okay. Uh, so, uh, according to you, what can be done to ensure a smooth uh, coordination between the central and the state agencies so that such unfortunate events do not occur in future. Uh, sir, I think uh, sir, first would be uh, first would be the protection of the ED officials or any central agencies. Like now also uh, again ED officials uh, has gone yesterday only. So we have seen that how CRPF are now being provided uh, for their protection. Other than this, I think state government uh, and state police force needs to be facilitated the all the procedures taken up by the central agencies and there should not be any communication gap from both so, the sides. Uh, do you think such a loose behavior by mob uh, uh, in effect uh, tells us about the uh, lawlessness in the state? Uh, sir, I will not exactly quote lawlessness because our state government is doing uh, many, uh, many have taken many steps to improve the law and order situation. For example, Recently, many police stations are being built. Uh, women, winner squad has been uh, introduced for women's hmm. safety and all these things. Uh, I think, sir, the local local men and women needs to be aware about these things prior hand. Okay. Uh, what are the issues that revolve around marital rape in India? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, as of now, Section 375 of I IPC uh, does not criminalize this offence. Uh, and also government has also uh, also uh, also have given their stand because as it is a matter of subjective interpretation that we cannot decide exactly that when the consent uh, is being withdrawn hence we cannot directly criminalize it sir i also shared this view but at the same time i think that the physical assault faced by the woman needs to be condemned and moreover if the if these issues are happening in the present time in the 21st century the core issues need to be addressed because if a man or woman doing such heinous crime, he or she may be facing any psychological trauma. For example, there are issues antisocial uh, disorder, narcissist syndromes. So I think we should have a vigorous awareness campaign okay, regarding okay. this. Uh, my final question to you. Uh, recently, our Honorable Mr. Minister of External Affairs has authored a book, uh, Why Bharat Matters. So according to you, why Bharat should matter? Uh, sir. Uh, I, I have not gone through that book. Uh, however, sir... Uh, Tell me in general context. There yes, is an sir. ongoing debate uh, between India versus Bharat. Uh, so, what is your take on it? Sir, I don't have any personal inclination to any of this name. Uh, which, whichever, uh, whichever name 
will serve the national interest will be favored by me also uh, however sir uh, if anybody is uh, if anybody is favoring the word bharat uh, i think uh, that would be also good because it's it's not imported uh, it's the it's an indigenous name uh, because we can see reference of bharat uh, in our ancient text also okay great yes, thank you thank you sir could you offer a solution to tista river uh, water dispute sir as of now i think uh, uh, only one um, possible solution is enough debates and discussions uh, and both the um, all the three parties uh, west bengal government bangladesh Why government west bengal has taken such a strong uh, stand on this yes sir so first major reason is that water comes on un comes under the state subject as per uh, schedule 7 of indian constitution second is the north bengal population uh, west bengal government is much concerned about their north bengal population if we will distribute major river portion of tista river portion to bangladesh then it will hamper the north uh, bengal population's livelihood and their agricultural activities that's why government of west bengal has taken this stance sir okay one final question your uh, chief minister of west bengal she is a firebrand leader Does sir. she? She is a firebrand leader. Yes, sir. Does she inspire you? Sir, being a woman, uh, she definitely uh, gives me many inspiration. Moreover, sir, uh, like Bengal is known for its diversity, for color, for festival, and uh, being a leader of a diversity diversified state, uh, wearing a white sari with <laughs> blue collars, and spending her uh, all her life. Uh, as a as a uh, as a political leader, uh, that inspires me a lot, sir. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Nice interacting with you. Your interview is over. You may go now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. May I come in, sir? Ah, uh, come in. Sit down, brother. Thank you, sir. When is your interview? Sir, not in the first. Oh, list. not in the first list. Okay, okay. So, a lot of time is there for you. Which attempt is this for you? Sir, so second attempt and first mains first. Second interview. and first mains and first interview. Wonderful. How was your experience today with us? Uh, sir, nice. I mean, fine. I. Anything, anything you could think of your performance? Uh, sir, I think in ma'am's question, fiscal policy. Um, I uh, somehow I extra said regarding the money supply. And in my mind also. You see, you see. Let me tell you at the very outset that you are an excellent candidate. is a excellent candidate and uh, the limited time we asked you question on variety of subjects and uh, your absolute answers were absolutely convincing certain things as you have yourself noticed you have to take care of those areas mind it that uh, interview is for selection of a civil servant it's not a quiz competition or question answer session isn't it so while asking questions and the way you respond answering to those questions the board will try to look at various aspects of your personality so there are 3 4 5 aspects of your personality the first and foremost is your personal integrity your personal integrity and the honesty of purpose the way you answer questions meaning thereby that if you are giving answers based on information based based on your your intellect it's all right but if you are giving your answers based on surmises on conjectures on guess then there's a problem so you did not hazard a guess but make sure that when you go for the interview that doesn't happen if you don't know doesn't matter speak only when you know if you have a domain knowledge if you have a information or if there is a situation based question or something we you can think of then go for it otherwise factual information it should be yes or no no guessing okay then your answers have to be very very balanced because you are coming from a state like west bengal so lot many contentious issues are there between the center and the state and all that so some questions may be asked those uncomfortable questions may be asked there you have to maintain your equilibrium your presence of mind and your balanced views that is very important for you yes sir don't take any extreme view in favor of a, a, a particular uh, setup okay then you have studied agriculture all along and recently you have been selected also in the west bengal government so and you have not joined so i don't 
think questions related to food and uh, supplies will be asked but you never know so food what will be your job uh, when you once you join as as a uh, food safety officer you said na yes sir food safety officer what do you mean by food safety why food have a safety that mm. kind of a thing so yes. you should be uh, uh, at least having an understanding of what you are going to be dealing with once you join there okay that is one then agriculture is a vast area and uh, so many issues are there uh, we try to uh, again touch upon certain issues but agriculture sector you read very carefully like when we talk of msp how msp is arrived at yes sir isn't it you must be uh, knowing the formula and all yes, that yes sir so how msp is arrived at hmm. and what committee you have named already yes, committee sir, and all that so, so those yes, things you should be uh, fully aware then various schemes launched by uh, yes, the the government the, those schemes schemes you should have known fully uh, completely like fasal bima yojana general yes, questions sir. like who pays for the insurance and all that hmm. that should be known to you isn't it is a good uh, practice or you want it to change by some other yojana and all that hmm. then your uh, rotting of uh, subsidies whether it should be given directly to the farmers because you see the questions will be Uh, not theoretical in yes, nature sir. it will be basically fact based uh, opinion based okay, like uh, 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 rotting of uh, subsidies i said what is the pre- existing system you must be aware yes sir it is plus exactly and and then what should be the solution is it fine working fine or you want some changes mm. just to understand you as a person whether you can think on such mm. such issues or not yes, basically sir. to that and then about the enam about uh, operation green so on and so forth is a long list mm-hmm. so you prepare all that that is one part of it agriculture why water problem is there mm-hmm. and in that context only the drip irrigation concept of drip irrigation yes, and sir. all that israel model of agriculture mm-hmm. that is also very relevant uh, for you that is one part of it another part is uh, your own state west bengal tista river is one mm-hmm. big pro- uh, issue illegal migration is another big issue rohingyas and all that you have to have a very clear view on all that then your nrc is another issue yes sir isn't it so we didn't uh, ask you questions on, uh, on nrc and all that but you have to have a very balanced view on all this mm. you can't be saying this is wrong this is right there is always a gray between uh, black and white isn't it you take take a balanced view drug smuggling in bengal is another issue <laughs> so these are major issues which bengal is facing then industrial growth why it is not happening in bengal yes, why industries are running away from bengal mm. and going to states like gujarat and all so reasons for that mm. then your north bengal and uh, central bengal south bengal yes, why sir. one area is neglected why the other area at the cost of the other area those very general type of questions Mm. then you must have heard about misty and all that yes sir so mangrove you should uh, yes sir uh, uh, read very carefully mm. because it uh, falls major mangrove falls uh, in the state of west bengal only mm. so about the river system and all that ganga cruise uh, is there mm. so uh, environmental concerns and all so these are the very general questions if you are able to prepare all this apart yes, from sir. this international affairs we did not ask you any questions mm mm-hmm. but our relationship with bhutan our mm-hmm. relationship with nepal our uh, recent issues in maldives and all that mm-hmm. those you must be very mm-hmm. clear on all that and then what are the uh, government of india's policies to deal with uh, diplomatically with the international players including what is happening in russia ukraine and all that you uh, canada uh, america recently so th- you have to have uh, a complete brief ready on on all those issues prepare all this i think you will be able to give, give a very good uh, uh, presentation of yourself when you go for the interview and you have a confidence maintain that confidence your uh, communication skill is good maintain that communication skill and uh, go with a smile on face and a positive body language never let your energy level go down even if you don't know one two three answers mm-hmm. initial answers yes sir last but not the least two things in the, i once once i asked you to introduce yourself why did you say as you are aware in the daf and all that yes sir and okay Isn't sir. it simple uh, i am so and so start with that okay sir okay sir 
so that is one uh, hope uh, you are not uh, going to the interview with coat and all that no sir no coat no sweater no, sir. okay this is for delhi weather no, no, i am very much in that a girl from west bengal yes, feeling sir. very cold here so but you go for, uh, and you will be wearing a sari only yes sir which sari you will be wearing sir uh, this sari will i am not i have not you, decided yet whatever the sari you wear know something about the sari which you yes, are going to wear that is my limited uh, uh, observation and sarees of bengal this is uh, you know so read about that also yes, if at all such questions are women empowerment is another area hmm. where questions are asked okay so prepare all that you will do well yes sir all the best to you do you have any specific question in your mind yes sir uh, like in such question uh, national song and national anthem i was not exactly aware then i have i have asked for you guess uh, so and that is how it should be yes that's when you, there is no clarity in your hmm. mind if you don't know uh, beyond any shadow of doubt yes, sir. then you should seek permission with all humility sir i i can attempt provided you allow me to attempt so that and you was, did that that yeah, was yeah. okay sir and so you came out with a good answer as such okay sir okay, okay sir answer uh, regarding the cm question means uh, what i usually think that's uh, all right yes, that's sir. all is a, is a genuine uh, yes, outburst your genuine uh, <laughs> yes, outflow sir. of uh, sentiments and all that for mm-hmm. It could be anything, yes, sir. and and she is an inspiring lady. All said and done, she yes. is an inspiring leader, isn't it? And she has inspired you. What is wrong in it? Okay. And sir, ma'am, regarding the agricultural tax, uh, like uh, it's my own view that there should have a category. Was that the that's right approach? That's, 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 that's the okay. correct. That's all right. Mm-hmm. That's all right. Okay, ma'am. You can also think of reading the latest uh, once the economic survey comes on thirty first. You may want to read the agric only the mal- agriculture. agriculture agriculture portion of that. Yes, economics also because you see agriculture economics go hand in hand. <laughs> yes. So, so some questions may be related to economy also. Mm. Uh, really may not be agriculture only. Allied sector industry mm. all inclusive. So make a thorough study of this. What is happening in the country on economic front, mm-hmm. overall perspective? And it's okay. And ma'am, regarding the like, what should be my thought regarding the budget, agriculture? Uh, my points, uh, like I your was... points were good. In fact, interim budget there will be no big policy change. It will be a continuation thing. So you were good. But you can talk about general stuff. and uh, 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 you can when you're talking you can men- like you brought out that issue of water uh, usage in rice and sugar very well so if they ask you that you can dwell upon it okay ma'am as answer one more thing uh, like uh, regarding the like sandesh khali incidents and all these controversial issues uh, like uh, it not happens in be, my you be a yes, third sir. person yes sir. don't don't be a party to any of the issues yes sir because uh, You have whatever knowledge you have acquired only through reading of newspapers yes, and all that. Exactly. Always try to be third person, and you mind it. You are going to be a bureaucrat, a civil servant. If you have a preconceived notion right now itself, it is very difficult for you to handle, to understand people's mind, and to deal with the situations. Yes, sir. Okay. And so, regarding on one more question. Ah, uh, you have a, a, yes. any number of questions. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Go so, ahead. like uh, regard uh, in the the chief secretary issues of West Bengal and these things. Uh, in uh, many interviews, I am facing this question that if you you are in the place, if you are a secretary and your PM is also calling and your CM is also calling, in I'll go by law, by the words and spirits of law. I will not get uh, influenced either by the uh, institution of the prime minister or institution of the chief minister. I am a bureaucrat. I am supposed to carry out the do- uh, the job as uh, as as contained in rule books. Yes, sir. I'll go by the rule book. I will not get precise. That is basically these are the uh, questions asked to see whether you buckle under pressure or not. Yes. Your your yes, emotional sir. question basically. Yes. Emotionally, you are strong or not. So be strong and mm-hmm. be again uh, neutral. That uh, there there are any number of rules. I am pretty sure once I go there. Uh, yes, sir. actually we are not uh, aware about the civil exactly, service conduct rules. Exactly. How can we? Yes. Exactly. So 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 don't get into that trap. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. All Thank the you, best. Sir. All Thank the best. Best All of luck. Thank you, ma'am.